Hey guys, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. Today's video has been requested many times. We are going to enlarge the waist in those jeans using elastic, but we are going to do it in three ways. The professional one, the easy one, and the super duper easy one. So let's go. These are the jeans that I'm gonna let out the waist. I will gonna let out around three inches, inch and a half in each side. And I'm gonna show you the three ways in the same jeans. In one side, I will show you the professional way. And at the other side, I will show you the two easy ways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm marking the waistband, like I'm extending the side line of the pants to the waistband, because this waistband, as you can see, is anatomic. It's not like a, cut it a straight, like a lot of waistband in jeans. This one is more anatomic. So it's a little bit more difficult to see, oh, this is the straight. But if I do it with my ruler, then it's easier. So again, the process in both sides start in the same way and I'm going to open the waistband in both sides and this one you see is a chain stitch chain stitch is usually easy to open and uh, when the pants are a little bit old like this one gets a little bit entangled but what you have to do is to pull both sides at the same time and you don't have any problem I open the top as well from the waistband and now I'm going to open the other side because everything will start in the same same way just the final process are different so these are the side of the jeans and I have to open you know it always has a top stitch and this stitch is a little bit uncomfortable to open but you just have to go every two or three stitches and uh, you can after pull the thread and you will be okay now you see I have my line here that I mark before and what I have to do now is to cut it following the line and then I will do the same at the other side now is the time to open the side of the jeans and I will go and open a little bit more than I think I need just because that will help me after with the serger after I remove the serger then I open in the side and look at that the last time we did this video we went really low because we needed a lot but in that case I'm just adding one inch and a half and I'm marking like a one quarter inch for a stitch and uh, then I could measure a little bit more like around almost like two inches but not really because the pants are a little bit elasticized so it will be okay I don't need so much and because I'm inserting elastic too you know so I'm measuring where the one inch and a half will be flat for example if I do a little less you see it's not flat but if I go more or less the three inches it will be flat and nice and everything will be okay so my next step is to search the side I will search as much as I can and I will search both sides in both sides of the pan. So I have to search four pieces. Then I will start to prepare the elastic. This elastic is not wide enough. The ideal will be like if you can get an elastic five, six inches wide, maybe seven or eight. But um, if you don't have it, it's not a problem. I can prepare one elastic wide just by joining two. For that, I make a line that will serve me as a guide and then I will just put it together and I will top stitch. If you have a domestic machine with the zigzag, it's even greater. I'm using this one because this machine handles very well the elastic, so I don't have really any problem to do it here. So as you know, now I have an elastic which is wide enough for me to insert. Now I'm preparing my elastic gusset. What I do is I measure the width that I want to insert and I go from this width until zero and I'll add the same allowance. I'm using three quarter inch, but you can use whatever you want. I think uh, this is uh, big enough. So if the pants are still too tight, I can easily repair without making another piece. But you do it the way you want, really. Now I search the piece before I insert it. 
So now I'm going to insert the piece and for that I have to, you see this is the mark I had, I'm just transferring to the inside and what I'm going to do first is again to close the side of my pant until the mark. And then now I'm ready to insert the elastic and for that what I'm going to do I will pin it in the right position. So I will pin seam line with seam line. You see it's not exactly the same seam allowance and because I have a rivet and I won't be able to sew it well around the rivet I will change the foot of my machine for a zipper foot. So this is the zipper foot you see it has just one side and the other side is free but this one mine is a very special for me because it's really wide and hold very well the other side. So I'm sewing it and I will go to sew just until the other seam start you see so I have to go very careful and just right in the point I go back and leave my material you see it looks like it's just one seam all the way but they are two seams the same side and the other and now what I'm gonna do I will again align the sewing lines together to sew the other part and as you can see if you can notice you, we have the seam line of the hip and then when I start to sew I will start to sew with this line you see it's just right there in this point and then I will start I will sew it and um, it looks you see it looks fantastic this is the easiest way to do it and if you do it this way you will always remember me after I will go and do top stitch the back top stitch I will make it exactly as the way it was before and the front top stitch just until the rivet now is the turn for the waistband so here there are two ways you can get a elastic the same width of the waistband the whole thin material or just the sewing part you see so i'm using this one because i think it's better like it's easier and very clean to do and what i'm gonna do i will check if i can push the material a little bit yes i can it's okay if the material weren't stretched, then you will have to count that you need to take in a little bit more, like a fold a little bit more the upper part. But in my case, I'm okay. And I'm marking what I need, one inch and a half in each. And what I'm gonna do, I will mark first like a, the little quarter inch for the sewing line in my waistband. I need four of those marks, two in each side. And then I'm going to join the sewing lines together and I will sew it. Then I will do the same at the other side. Again, as you see, sewing lines together and then I will sew all together. So this is my front part. I will repeat exactly the same in the back part of the waistband and I have the elastic, two elastic for my waistband. Now to clean that, how I will clean? I will wrap it up. So I will basically wrap it up like that and like that and I will stitch on top. And then I will just pull it, you see, and it's all clean. I will repeat that in the other three parts of my waistband. And um, this is really professional, but it's really easy to do. And now that I have everything done, I will just top stitch my two elastic of the waistband together. And then I will insert the pants in between the waistband and then I will stitch it. And now the only thing we need to do is to finish all the decorative stitches with the jeans thread. You see here, here, there, and I will just go one by one and sew it. So I'm making my top stitch. Now I will pivot my material and then I will go up pivot again and do the top stitch underneath and then I will just do the other top stitch. I make sure that everything underneath is tucked in and look at that it looks fantastic it's really professional it's all flat you see how flat it is and uh, it's not bulky it's all good 
So for the other part, I will make the easy and the easiest in the same drive. One side the easiest and the other side the easiest. So you know what we have to do. We have to close again to the same point for the elastic. And uh, we know that we need around three inches, but in that case, I will add as well waistband. So I will prepare exactly the same. The waistband is around one inch and a half. And then I will go straight one inch and a half down and uh, then the triangle. You see these sharp lines, I cannot really sew it. It doesn't look good. In my other side, I could, you see, you can see the sharp lines because I have two pieces. I have one waistband and then the adding gosset. But in that case, is different that's why the other side is the professional and this one is not that professional but it's okay it will look good so i soften up the angle to make more or less like a kind of curve and uh, it will work that way and now i will just cut a three quarter inch more or less for the seam allowance and i will search that so this is my piece, it's all search. And now let's just go and sew. You know the drill, I have to close until the mark and then I will start sewing my godet. But before, I have to prepare the waistband. To prepare the waistband, I will just sew it a little bit, just a little bit inside. Remember that I have to pull it a little bit, but it doesn't matter because it's a stretchy material, so don't worry. Otherwise, you will have to consider that when you do it, the difference, but it will be okay in this case. So now waistband and side are together, so I will just go in just one step and sew everything. I'm making sure that the top of the elastic is in the edge of the finished waistband and that's it and for cleaning what i'm gonna do i will go and do the same i did at the other side where i wrap but in that case i will just wrap the top part you see and then it will be finished that way like that now i'm gonna search the back of the waistband and um, you see it's all clean and i just have to top stitch everything so i will just tuck in everything inside you see and i'll pin it just you know to make it easier to work with and then i will just do the top stitch i need and uh, that's it as you can see this way is way easier but uh, it still looks pretty good and pretty professional you see now let's go to the easiest part it's even easier yes so for this one, you didn't even need it to open so much the waistband, just a little bit enough to cut it and that's it. So I'm closing the waistband, everything back. And um, you see, I have to search the side, the top, but because it has like a, an angle, I'm just soften on this angle and then I will just search and I have it there. That's it, like a one line. And now I can proceed and sew my elastic all together, everything together. Remember that I have to start exactly in this point and then I will just go and sew and <laughs> my other side is all done. You see, this one is, as I promised you, really, really easy. And now what you need to do is just one top stitch and that's it. I don't love this one because it's a little bit bulkier than the other, but I think um, it still looks really good. But I really like the second one. When I want to work something easy, I would rather do the second one a little bit more job, but looks really, really, really great. The first one, as I said, is the more professional because the waistband is double, so it's stronger. It gives better result. It's flatter. It adapts better to the body. And, you know, it's just professional. But please let me know in the comment which one do you like better? And if you want to do it, which one would you like to do? This is the elastic that I would recommend if you want to do with the easiest one. Just one elastic that is stronger and nicer. This one is not long enough, but you can get it even 8 inches longer. So I just don't have a long one right now. So guys, that was all for today. I hope that you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Thank you. Bye.